Hello everyone, today we will learn how to create account on USGS Earth Explorer. After creating an account on USGS Earth Explorer, you can able to download various kinds of data like an aerial imagery, then Landsat data, Sentinel data. There are very different kinds of data like a digital relation model. You can download any data from USGS Earth Explorer freely if you have account on USGS Earth Explorer. To create an account on USGS Earth Explorer, will type here as a UHGS Earth Explorer. After that, there is option EROS Registration System. So after clicking on EROS Registration System, the registration page will be open here. So if you have already created your account, you can directly grow, go for it. Or if you don't create an account yet, then you can click on Create New Account. After clicking on Create New Account, they will ask you a username requirement. So must be between 4 and 13 characters, may contain alphabetic and numeric characters, may only contain the following special characters like uh, spreads at this sign or this symbol is showing that only we need to use. So suppose I will use here as a new username something like that. Suppose this username I am using here as a, then I will select a password here. To selecting a password, it must be between 12 and 14 characters, may contain at least one alphabetic character, may contain at least one numeric character and may contain the following special character. This special character we can use. So by using all this, I am going to create a password. After that click on I am not a robot and click on continue. So now our username and password is created. If you want to save it, you can save it or if you don't want, you can click on never. In which sector do you work? So they are asking in which sector we are working. So you can select your sector. So I am a general public, so I will select as a general public. Then which of the following characterize you as a user of remotely sensed data from UHS? So you can select as a data provider or end user or product developer. So I am an end user because I am using this data for my work or for my research work or for education. So I am selecting here as an end user. Then does your work use remotely sensed data from UHS? So you can select yes or no or how much percent if they are asking you can select as a 50, 60. So how much percent it is useful for you that you can select. What is the primary application for which you have to use remotely sensed data from USGS in the past years? So I use this for the geology. So I will select geology or you can select as an additional application. Suppose you have, if you are working on agriculture, you can select or land use land cover or urban planning, water resource. So you select as per your desired area that you are going to use or you have previously used in past for this data. Or uh, after that, over the next year, approximately how much of the remotely sensed data you acquire from USGS will you distribute to other to use as a opposed to using it yourself. So none of the data I am doing here. Over the next year, how important will free and open access to remotely sensed data from USGS will be conducting your work. So very important for my work, this re open access data. Then I will click on continue to contact information. After that we need to add name here. So you add your name or whatever your name is there. Then your first name and last name. Then company name you can add as a student. 
then address you can add here then select your country select your city then select your state or pin code then email address so this is my email address again i will type as my email address after that alternating email address if you have you can add here as an alternating email address or leave as as it is and telephone number and click on save contact information after clicking on save contact information email address already in use must be unique so they are saying that this email address we have already used so another email address that we didn't use that we are going to use So I'll click on. I will change email address and retype email address, and I will click on next. So now, you can able to see. Please review the information before completing the registration process. Re return to the use credential, contact demography, or contact information tab to mark changes. If you want to change something, you can change here, or you can go for the submit registration. after clicking on click your email for configuration message click on the link in the email to activate your account to complete the registration process if you do not receive an email please check your spam folder so we'll go to our email address so now i have received an registration confirmation mail to complete the registration process you must click on the below and confirm and active your account to confirmation i will click on the link after that they are asking our registration confirmation so from here we'll take our username and we need to enter our username here and click on submit after click on submit we need to add our here usgs registration and our password and click on sign in now we have confirm login now we can able to see now to download we can will go to usgs earth explorer i will type here as a usgs earth explorer now we can able to see we are log in here and now we can select a particular area where you want to download anything so if i'll zoom here and uh, from here you need to search select a search criteria address or place you can search by any place or suppose any place if you want to select that particular place or you can add here lat long then you can click by data set select a particular data like suppose i'll select a digital elevation model or srtm dem i'll select one arc second click on the result select this tiles any tiles if you want to download select that one after that select all this and if you want to click on download download option is there click on the download and click on the download it will start downloading it will take little bit time now our dem is start downloading like this we can download a data from uhgs earth explorer by creating our account so thank you for watching